This is Barbaresco Bassarine from Adriano Marco Evitorio, 2004. Now, Barbaresco, of course, is from northern Italy, Piedmont region, sister wine to Barolo. 04 was an outstanding vintage in that region. These 04s are showing really beautifully. And um, this one in particular. Now, Barbaresco is um, quite a bit smaller than Barolo, uh, less than half the acreage in Barbaresco. So, really, um, it's a rarer wine than Barolo, even though it's, it's often regarded as um, not quite as serious a wine sometimes, and it's because it, it actually is a riper and more forward wine in most cases than Barolo. This is because of where it's situated. The, um, the DOC of uh, Barbaresco is closer to the river. The river actually has a warming effect, causes the uh, vineyards to get a little bit more uh, temperature, a little more warmth, and the grapes ripen a little earlier. Also, the vineyards themselves have slightly lower altitude than Barolo, so it's just not as cool, even though overall it's a cool climate. Um, like in Barolo, you have recognized single vineyards. This uh, wine is from the Bassarine Vineyard. Uh, it's, a, it's a vineyard with a hillside, like most of them, with good southern exposure. That's where you get the good ripeness. Of course, 100% Nebbiolo, as in Barolo. A very unique grape that um, has quite a bit of muscle, quite a bit of intensity, um, some real sort of earthy, um, smoky, um, minerally character to it, and some wonderful um, perfume. You get uh, floral notes roses, you get um, also berry notes. Let's taste this. This is really a a big, bold wine, um, particularly for Barbaresco. This has got a lot of intensity. It's got quite a quite a, uh, a firm core. Um, good good fruit in there. There's some real deep cherry notes. There's um, more of that floral, um, rose petal kind of notes. There's tarry, smoky notes in this wine. Still not quite ready to drink. Um, even though you got a lot of good ripeness in this vintage, you also got a lot of intensity because these grapes got a really long time to develop. This is a wine that's going to sell her for, uh, I'd say, three to ten years, maybe. Um, I'm going to let it breathe a little longer. Usually a wine like this, I'll open it up about an hour before I'm really going to enjoy it. And you really start to uh, get some more of the delicate notes out of the wine. Really a fine wine, um, shows great character, and uh, actually at the price it's a great value. Um, good with all kinds of uh, hearty fare. Enjoy.